<laughs> How are you? Hello, guys. Oh, it is wonderful. Uh, you know, I wish you were down here. We had a wonderful barbecue dinner at the campfire here, and look at the friends. Uh, I can credit my crew with making friends quickly, much faster than I do. But I'll tell you something. I was looking at Alyssa's radar a moment ago, and there is lightning flashing on the northern horizon. Not here. We've had rain today, but it's moving out. And uh, it looks like it's pretty hopeful for the eclipse tomorrow. Do you know we're at a campground 300 miles south of Chicago, uh, just south of Carbondale, about five-hour drive. The leaves are out down here. Spring is well along. But the group that's gathered here is really excited about the prospect of watching uh, what amounts to one of the great celestial events of all time, a total solar eclipse tomorrow. It's incredible. More than a million people have flooded to this area to see it. There isn't a campground space, nor is there a hotel room anywhere in this area that's available. We're told some of the hotel rooms here went for $750. So if you're not down here, don't come. We'll be broadcasting live from 1 to 2.30, and we'll be on the morning show having breakfast here ahead of it. But I do want to show you what we've been doing today. We've been scouting the area, and we've met all kinds of wonderful people who have gathered here for this amazing aspect astronomical event. Here are some of them. I saw you with the camera and I looked over and I said, oh my God, there's Tom Skilling and we had to pull right off the road. <laughs> and we're back. I had, rumor had it on Channel 9 News that he was going to be down here, so uh, we had an eye out. A single spot on Earth will see a total solar eclipse on average once every 375 years. Unless you happen to live in Bacanda, Illinois. On a breezy afternoon, a local winery buzzes. Less than seven years after the eclipse of 2017, the people of Southern Illinois and those who traveled here take their seats. The seasoned campers also embrace the science. They're here for the view. If you don't want to use your eclipse glasses, this is just a way to safely view the disk of the sun. Act just two of one of nature's most magnificent productions. If you've ever been to an eclipse, to a total eclipse, you'll know that people shout, they scream, they yell, they cry, they laugh. <laughs> it's almost a body reaction that something is wrong and yet something, um, something is exciting is happening. The celestial event drove the Gruber family to make the 31-hour trek from Washington State. We just uh, are really excited to catch this event. You know, only get, maybe get a couple times in your life to, uh, to see something like this. Uh, celestial event, we're into this kind of thing. The family of three joined the 150 to 200 million people who live within 200 miles of the path of totality. And from those who study the stars, some simple advice. Totality happens, stare at it. Don't look away, don't try to take pictures, just burn it into your brain. That was the greatest piece of advice I was given. And, um, and that's exactly what I did. I left the, the picture taking to the professionals. <laughs> That's Michelle Nichols from Adler Planetarium. Great advice indeed. There's no way to describe a total solar eclipse without characterizing it as a total sensory event. Shadows change, the wildlife around you changes, uh, animals that sleep uh, during the day uh, uh, wake up, animals at night uh, figure, oh, it's day, I'm going back to sleep again. We'll reach that state in five minutes time. Around two o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we will go from midday to nighttime. We'll see planets in the sky, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, might even see a comet. The moon is closer to us than it was in 2017, so 60% more area will see a total eclipse. Chicago will be close, not quite there. You do not, under any circumstance, want to look at the sun without assistance, uh, special glasses and so forth. But not to worry, there'll be a lot of great pictures everywhere, and don't fumble with the iPhone. Uh, you'll find the pictures available everywhere. By the way, I'll not be alone in covering this with our WGN team. Demetrius Ivory will be reporting from Cleveland. Mike Lowe is in Chicago, and uh, Mike Jansen will be in Carbondale, so we'll have it all covered and begin at 1 o'clock. We'll also have breakfast on the morning show from the campfire here and introduce you to more folks uh, down this way.
away. But you know, guys, uh, our ancestors viewed solar eclipses with trepidation and fear. The group that is gathered here that we've met today is excited. No trepidation and fear. There's hopefulness and fingers crossed that the weather cooperates uh, during the day tomorrow. And as Alyssa pointed out and all the guidance we can see, there is uh, some reason for optimism. It's not going to rain tomorrow. We're hoping a high cloud deck doesn't do anything to uh, inhibit our view. And by the way, guys, I understand Jackie Bang is out eclipse viewing, or will be. Yes. Where is she in Vin Vincennes, Indiana, I'm told? That's exactly where she is. And I, I must say, if you share Isn't your coordinates, something? Tom, the entire city of Chicago will come to where you are and join you. So don't do that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think, Tom, well, we wanted I'll to I'll tell you. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you, you guys have an open invitation to come down for uh, <laughs> breakfast and lunch and dinner and all. So, you know, get in the WGN van and come down here. It's only a five-hour drive, yeah, no although fan. the roads no are going to be a little well. crowded tomorrow, I suspect. I yeah, think, Tom, yeah. many, many of us remember <laughs> how emotional you got last time, seven years ago. Oh. Have you been thinking ahead? Do you think it'll hit yes. you the same way tomorrow? I know it's such a unique event, but... I don't know. Did you bring your Kleenex? You know, it, it, it is something. <laughs> Dana, I, you know, absolutely true. Let me tell you something. It is overpowering. It's a near religious experience. It's hard to describe to anybody who's not seen it. I lost it on the air, and I thought that was kind of unprofessional, but a lot of people told me afterwards, hey, we, we cried along with you. There's something overpowering. If right. you had any... Uh, inkling that we were something more than a tiny speck in the universe it goes away when you watch a total solar eclipse and we hope to see it tomorrow and we'll be broadcasting from here and elsewhere guys so right. we'll see you then good to have you back on duty Tom Skelly all right we'll see you tomorrow it's good to see yeah. you Tomon. Looking, good to see you Dana looking forward Take to care, it guys. good night Tom and have a s'more <laughs> he's <Thanks>. going to <laughs> yeah yes I will all right thank you guys